there he is, the man of the hour, Sir Fred. I've been debating whether or not to call him Fredo, short for semi-Fredo, one of my favorite desserts of all time. Um, welcome to Sunday. I was going to say Saturday, but it is Sunday, unfortunately, and tomorrow's Monday, unfortunately. Um, happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. I do not know anymore what I celebrate, um, but if you're celebrating Easter, happy Easter. Um, I don't know how everyone else is feeling, hi Nez, but, um, ooh, gardening ad. Hello Peru, ooh, sax, fancy. I don't know why they would want to advertise here. I don't know how everyone else is feeling, but today in terms of mental health, I'm between a four and a five on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best. I love tensile. It is one of my favorite fabrics ever. I love how luxurious it feels. Um, hi everyone. So being that I'm not feeling my best, I am just gonna take it easy. I found this container of basil that's really, uh, really sad looking. We'll, we'll probably chop it up. There's some chicken skin and chicken bone that we have in the fridge. I'm thinking we could like render the fat out of the chicken skin, save it, give Aaron the chicken skin to eat, and then we can make a stock out of the bone and maybe we'll throw basil in there. Um, Tofu Brain says, hi Bernie Shirt. I'm so sorry you don't have power right now. Hello. How are you watching this without power? Yeah, how are you? Um, maybe on your phone? Yeah, I mean, Galaravi, my basil is turning black, and it, I bet if I forgot it for even longer, it'll start molding soon, so we need to use it. And as promised, um, we did chop some blood orange skins, and I'm going to go ahead and candy these tonight. They smell fine, if a little bit ripe. Um, damn tofu, that's a lot of data you're using. All right, well, in terms of making candied orange skin or a candied orange peel, what you normally do is go ahead and bring this up to a boil with your water twice, and you dump out the water each time after it boils, and then you taste a little bit of the pith to see if it's no longer bitter. Once it's past that kind of like really unbearably bitter stage, we add in a two to one ratio of sugar to water. Or maybe it's a one to one ratio. I don't know anymore. I, maybe it's a one to one ratio, guys. Don't listen to me. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slice these up into little strips because I don't want a whole piece of candied orange. I want strippy strips. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And... I did manage to clobber together uh, a tripod somehow last night, so that's what we're working with. It's a cheap plastic one, but it'll do for now. I'm smelling my cutting board to figure out which side is the garlicky side. I think we're safe with this one. And I'm just going to be slicing them and putting them directly into this pot, and then I'm gonna cover this pot with some water, bring it up to a boil, dump it, bring it up to a boil, dump it, and then we'll go in with the sugar. We gave Fred his bath today. Aaron did an excellent job. He freaked out way less, and uh, he's eating. He doesn't hate us as much, so that's something. I'm not too picky. I'm just going to slice them about yay thin, maybe like a centimeter wide. So gorgeous. The colors are amazing. Can you sign in so I can see chat? Yes.
but this outfit, the top came from my college roommate, I believe. She no longer wanted this shirt, so I said, don't throw it away, I'll take it. And then the pants, I actually thrifted with Nez about, oh, a little over a year ago. Christmas, pre-COVID Christmas. It was from La Pointe in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Excellent shop. We found a lot of stuff on the dollar rack. And this pair of Levi's is really tight with my quarantine weight, but I don't know if you can see the label. It is Levi's. It is a little boy's size, and it was $3.00. Plus, kids' clothing was on sale that day for half, so we got it for $1.50. The cat at that shop was amazing. It was very friendly. It gave us some judgmental looks when we picked out really ugly clothes. Um, everything you want in a cat and more. I really love thrifting in uh, non-pandemic times. Now I have a vague sense of guilt every time I go somewhere indoors when I don't need to. Um, do you not want to be on camera? Is that why you're here, Aaron? Just trying to find a... You can sit. I can, yes. I'm just trying to find a place I feel comfortable. Okay. I can tilt the camera if you want to be off camera. Just I don't let me know. Be, I don't need to be off camera. I'm just roaming until I find the right spot. Just like a cat. Mm-hmm. So really chill night. Really chill night. Yes, um, his fur always looks a little bit floofy after the bath. Hi, Gisela. Yes, Jeff, Bernie is running again when he's 108. He'll be challenging Biden for the primary when Biden's 110. Do you watch this stream every night? I think he does. Jen, the bath went way better. Aaron handled it way better this time. There were no nervous breakdowns, but Fred did scratch his leg twice, so he may or may not have ringworm now. We hope not. I have cat aids now. Fred didn't mean to scratch him. Fred was just clambering out. Yeah, it wasn't an intentional scratch. He was just trying to get out. Aaron, could you possibly... Please give me my water bottle that is on the windowsill. I am quite thirsty. Million, In the other room? Yes. Okay. Million thanks. Alright guys, that's it. Oh. peels with cold water. We'll bring it up to a boil. Just like that. Like right now, this peel is not um, unbearable, but it will just be a little bit bitter, you know? You've eaten orange peel before, you know. It's almost like a little spicy sometimes. Um, and um, after a few boils, it'll both take out the citrus nature of it as well as the bitter nature of it. So it's a little trade-off. As with all things, trade-offs. <sighs> what shall we do with the chicken, Aaron? Uh, I don't know. Do you, would you like to eat chicken skin? I would love to. Chicken skin is among my favorite foods. So, I don't live near any fancy stores. Um, we bought some really sad industrially farmed chicken for a recipe that I had to do. And we have three legs left over, which I think I'm going to save for the next recipe that I have to film involving some sort of meat. But... I bought these like bone in skin on thighs and I saved the bone and the skin. So we're gonna fry off the skin now. We're gonna save the legs for my future recipe and the bones we're going to cook into a stock. Is the basil into the orange peel? No, the basil is going into the chicken skin, I feel like. That makes more sense, no? Hi Ruby, glad you're here live. 
Um, Aaron, here's yes. the problem. I do need your pasta thing for my broth. Okay, I'll transfer. If possible. We got lots of fat. Mmm, chicken fat. Fred, did you come over for chicken? Oh, shit. <laughs> He's right behind me. Chicken! I think when I'm... I'm gonna throw some salt on these just in case. They just came out of the freezer, but... I might not be shooting tomorrow, I might be shooting the day after, and I really don't want it to go bad before then. You need this washed, right? Uh, you don't need to wash it if you're okay, okay with your chicken skin tasting like pasta. Of course. Is that fine? Some scallions in there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's your chicken skin that you'll be eating, so. Cool. Fred, done with dinner. Is he? Did he clean? Pretty clean. Good job, Fred. What's in the pasta, Aaron? Uh, the pasta that we made yesterday? Yes. Um, it is uh, beyond meat sausage um, with Japanese curry, penne, very nice. Really like how it came out last night. And we found out that the Japanese curry is vegan. And it's a vegan pasta dish. And now this vegan pasta pot is going to have chicken skin blazing in it. Is chicken skin vegan too? Chicken skin is so vegan, guys. How do you want your chicken skin flavored? You want to start pulling out some spices so that sure. as, as Can soon we as use it... up that fire spice that's on the counter? Absolutely. How All do you right. want your chips? Strips? Pieces? Strips and strips. The strips are fine. That, that looks good. You're done. You're done, Fred. You finished. Yes, he's still bumping me. He's, he's a hungry, hungry boy. Should we feed him more? I have salmon. If you want to give him some salmon. I'll give him some salmon. He did go through quite a fright today, so I feel like maybe he yes. deserves I agree. a little more. Even though we gave him like a meal's worth of treats to get him both in and out peacefully. smelling good already. It's chicken fat. How could it not? I'm so happy you bought some peanut butter. Guys, this is how you know when my mental health is bad is when I um, just eat half a jar of peanut butter, which I did, I did do that today again. But uh, sometimes I can't tell if it's like I'm eating peanut butter and I'm feeling guilty about it and then that sends me into like a depressive cycle start or if I'm already feeling depressed which leads me to eat comfort food like peanut butter and then I can't stop because all I want is comfort but obviously no amount of eating peanut butter will solve my actual issues. It's Depression is funny like that, isn't it? You really don't know what head or tail is when it comes to those things. We're going to be disappointed when I put this plate down, Fred. Nothing there. Are you not going to get them some on? I will. You going to wash that plate again? 
I guess I did not think about our feeders. You could just feed them in your hand, I guess. Yeah. Now that you have ringworm. Bread. Salmon. Got some salmon. chicken skin there definitely is traces of feather sometimes but if you cook it well and you blister the shit out of it you really can't taste it he's licking my fingers why is he licking your fingers because i have salmon on them oh he's not eating it he's just licking it okay is my butt crack on camera no my okay. butt is blocking your butt I feel his little cat tongue. Don't you want it, Fred? Here, let me block your butt crack. Really? Actually, we can't see your butt crack. We can only see your puma waistband. Okay, well, he's not eating anyways. He doesn't want the salmon? No, he doesn't want it. Put it on the plate. I'll off the plate. I'll try one more time. I think I need to put some water. All right, guys, let me show you. We are at a full boil on the blood orange. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. And then what I'm gonna do is turn the heat off. Let it come down a little bit for a minute or two. Let it soak in there and then we'll drain it. Meanwhile, that chicken skin Looking mighty good. Smelling mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. I'm not right-handed, so I'm going to have to put you down and do this with my left hand. Yeah, he's eating off the plate. I guess he just didn't want it off my hand. He doesn't, he doesn't have teeth, Aaron, so he can't grip sometimes. Well, he could lick. Can you get me a glass jar uh, so we can reserve this chicken fat? said I was abusive. <laughs> oh, there were plenty of comments that were like, get out of this toxic relationship. Oh, because I didn't do dishes on camera or something? I don't, <laughs> I don't know where those comments came from, honestly, but uh, I'm just saying, these lies are a way more accurate portrayal of how our relationship dynamic actually functions. And obviously, these lies don't show most of it, because you're only seeing us for an hour or so a day. Um, so, you know, internet, just... Uh, don't always trust your eyes. Don't always trust your brain. Trust no one, not even yourself. Cats can't see stuff right under their noses. They have to find stuff by smell. Hmm. So You've never seen your nose, Fred? The water is a little bit murky. Not okay. sure if you can see, I'm but I'm going to dump it. And you can see that the rind is starting to turn a little bit translucent. The white is losing a little bit of its opacity, and that's good. You're basically cooking the orange rind. And as you cook it, ooh, look at that bloody color. That should be good for the baking. I gave it a nice couple blocks. Okay. Mm. 
He likes the salmon now. That's good. And did he finish all of his fries? That was on the plate? Wow. Well, that was pretty clean, yeah. He ate like 150% of his diet today. People irritate me when they feel the need to comment about other people's lives. There's so much we don't see. Exactly. Uh, just Second boil, guys. The, the amount, especially in the early days of Budget Eats, the amount of comments I read about people, like, assuming things about the relationship or, you know, assuming how we treated each other, you know, just based on the limited portrayal of what was, you know, shown on video, it's just... It's, it's crazy what people will, like, suddenly people will just, like, pretend to be experts on a relationship they saw for a few minutes in a video. Did you put salt or MSG? No, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. Do you but, want some? Yeah, let's do some. I don't think this container will hold all of it. Oh, did you think it was that much? Because uh, the fat will rise up, you know. That's right. That's right. We're going to keep going until all the skin is golden. We don't really want any chewy bits. Or maybe actually Aaron does. Aaron is uh, very particular about his, like, crispy goods. Sometimes he likes it crispy, but still kind of chewy. Is and... Jason on stream right now? He said, Aaron, please make red t-shirts. Is that you, my boy? How much can you get from a torso, right? I was a torso. I still am a torso right now. Here's my here's my torso. depends on your pan construction and your burner size, but I'm on a small burner and a very cheap thin pan right now, and I'm on about medium heat. A t-shirt of Fred with just three teeth and it says, I beat ringworm with a huge seller. Oh like my that. gosh. When June has merch, maybe that'll be one of them. Hey, Aaron, mm -hmm. can you fetch me a uh, metal bowl or some big enough bowl to hold all these chicken skins, and then you can start spicing them up when they come out hot? Yeah. Maybe a little salt, a little whatever, whatever. Thank you. Do you like your bonus snack, Fred? I don't know if you guys can hear this, but as soon as you stop hearing the sizzle, like it's not spluttering anymore, that is ready. That means most of the moisture has escaped out of the skins and you're just burning it now. So I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's golden, it's light golden, but all of the pieces are golden. Some of them are darker if they're smaller, but all of them are golden. Even the ones that look a little bit white are a little bit golden. You don't want pure white because pure white means it hasn't yet gotten toasted at all yet and it's just going to turn like flabby. Um, once it cools, but once you hit golden and it cools, it's going to get crispy. Obviously, if you keep this over low heat, you can get all of them extra golden, but because Aaron is not a very big stickler about even crispiness and he actually likes a little bit of variant textures, we're just going to keep it at this stage. And Aaron, you can spice it up as you will, my dear. Hello, Regina and Rachel. Is it Regina or Regina? Oh, my God. I honestly don't know. Do some people pronounce it Regina? I'm going to pour this hot oil into our chilies very slowly. It's going to bubble up. The uh, first time we bathed Fred, he was Can you spice this? Yeah. He was cowering in a corner for hours under the bed. But today, he's here. Glad he's doing better. All right, second batch of our oil. Chicken skin going in. Sizzle. And if you can, I want you to start paying attention this round to what it sounds like from the beginning and what it sounds like when it ends. Because you will hear a difference in the activity, and that is always a great tip of when is my food ready? Here, 
here's our chili oil. I'm just going to squish it so that it's all evenly coated on the inside. Chose a uh, clear jar. Well, you chose what you chose. Come closer. Got my chicken skin spiced up uh, with some of that uh, smoked African blend. Oh yeah, oh my God. How is it? That's an incredible snack. Is it? This is like, honestly, pork rinds, but better. Seriously. Well, it's super fresh, so it's still hot and warm. You hear that crunch? You better hear that crunch. It's kind of better than pork rinds too because they're more like potato chips while pork rinds are like big puffy things. Are you blocking Fredo? I just want people to hear the crunch. Yeah, this is incredible. Please try chicken skin. It's not that spicy. It's just paprika in this one. spice one either, but it tastes like really seasoned and salty already. Maybe I salted it. Oh, you salted it while cooking? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the flip on the chicken skin. wearing a v-neck when you're cooking chicken skins you're not finishing these you will get hurt yes the point is that you finish these please mm -hmm. they don't stay good the day after they're best the day of all right our um, orange peels are up to a rolling boil I'm going to stir them a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead turn off the heat let them simmer in there in the off heat and then we'll taste them and see if they're still bitter. And if they're still bitter, because some oranges, depending on how good they are, will be bitter even after the second boil. So you boil them again until it's your desired kind of blandness. And then you go in with your sugars. June cooks apronless. She lives dangerously. But also all of her clothes cost like a dollar each, so uh, it's not that big a deal. Or literally from someone's trash. Yes. <laughs> ah! That was a big pop. Uh, some some stuff you just gotta pay the price for eating it, you know. I and missed you, Linda. Missed you big time. I have the basil cut up. This is just gonna go into our chicken stock. What's my favorite meal that June makes me? It kind of sounds like something. It kind of sounds like June makes me meals regularly. I'm not a housewife, guys. Yeah. We literally just eat whatever we want, and sometimes when we cook a lot of something that we made for ourselves, we'll offer it to the other person. I never cook Aaron anything unless it's his birthday and I bake him, like, a treat. Um, and also, June doesn't, like, make stuff regularly, other than, you know, just, like, or, like she, she eats her oatmeals and her lentil mashes and stuff, and... You know, I eat my usual stuff, but it's like there's no meals that she makes We're right normal now. people, guys. We don't cook all the time, and we don't like cooking extravaganzas all the time either. Almost everything she cooks is for work, and that's obviously different all the time. Are you hearing this? Do you hear the difference now? It's still sizzling, but it's like popcorn. You know how they say when there's like three seconds between each pop, you should turn off the heat. That's where we're at, guys. And 
as soon as you hear that kind of very nuanced heating going on, you take a look and they're golden. So you got to use all your senses when cooking. That's probably the best advice I've ever gotten from working in a restaurant. Oh my god, all of these are hot. All of these handles are hot. Um, engage all of your senses when cooking. You hear it, you see it, you smell it, you taste it, you feel it. Touch it, poke it. Do everything to it. I'm gonna add more uh, spices to this. Yes. I'll add the rest of the five spice. Okay, but what are you gonna add to your chicken skin? I wasn't adding five spice to the chicken skin. Are you ready for the new batch? Um, almost. Yes. Hot oil going in. Did you grind this chili yourself? I did. Don't add any more now, they won't get to it. I know, I'm adding it to that. Okay. Uh, do we have ground switch one? Not anymore, sorry. It's okay. We might have some green ones, but you're gonna have to look. All right, to our empty pan, we're gonna go in with our chicken bones. There we go. We're going to add in some water. I don't have a lot of water in here. I'm just gonna add in whatever's left. And then we'll go ahead and add some more. Adding this to the chicken skin, something I brought back from Japan for June a long time ago. It says mala furikake. You better eat sure. all of that. You better be yeah. licking that off of the bowl. Oh, I did lick the spices off last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is ground chili blend and mala numbing spicy furikake. Ooh, mixing that up, got in my nose. Okay, here we go. Crunch time again. crunch me, Captain. Is that what they say for Captain Crunch? Mmm. There we go. How is that? Do you want any water for Brilliant. tea? No, thanks. Make sure to get some of the spice blend. Is it spicy? This one is spicier than the last one, yeah, because I used a different chili blend. I want to get some mala. Mm -hmm. mm. Spicy. Yeah, buddy. All right, basil going in. Man, I love chicken skin. Truly really one of their best organs. So many parts of chickens are delicious though. Heart and gizzard. And feet. Man, everything everything in a chicken is delicious. Do you pick a heart, feet, gizzard, or skin for chicken? Oh. pain to eat. There's so much work involved in terms of eating chicken feet. Gizzard and heart are both delicious, but I would pick gizzard for the more um, chewy factor. She's got a more intriguing texture. But skin, man, chicken skin, so versatile. If it's nice and tender and soft, it's delicious and creamy and unctuous in that way if it's fried like we just did it's crunchy and toasty and nutty and creamy and ooh. i'm going to dump this hot water right on the cutting board aaron so that uh okay. it washes off some of the chicken grease and makes the room smell incredibly fragrant yeah i i'm getting like a full steam bath of orange water right now this is amazing 
I want my showers to smell. So like this. after two boils, you can see that they're basically cooked. They're like like very translucent. They've lost a lot of color. They've gotten kind of soft and jelly like. We're just gonna take one. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit before we taste it. Oh my god, what did you put in here? Did you put smoked paprika in here? It's a lot of different stuff, yeah. Ooh, this one, this chili oil is smoky, guys. So it has a lot of the uh, smoked paprika. Oh man, this smells so good. Mm. It smells like there's pork and beef and chicken in there. Wow. Like bacon, like smokehouse bacon. I look forward to it. All right. It's time to taste this orange peel. It's a one on a one to 10 scale of bitterness. So we're fine going in with some sugar and water now. I'm gonna go in with a one to one ratio for now. How long will that chili oil be good with the chicken fat? Uh, if you keep it in the fridge forever. But it's so good, it's not gonna last forever. grams of sugar. I'm trying to keep the sugar a little bit low so I don't know if this is going to work because you're really supposed to be covering all the peels when you're making proper orange peel and then you're left with this like orange scented simple syrup and the orange peels but I mostly just don't want to use up that much sugar to be honest when I'm cooking for myself at home. 147 grams of sugar is like two-thirds cup. A little bit over two-thirds cup. So I feel like it's enough. Thanks for doing D if she is. Of course. Is there oil in with the chicken skin? Uh, no, when you cook the chicken skin, the oil was separated off and we used that to make chili oil while we ate the skin separate. Yeah, the chicken fat does become solid in the fridge, but that's fine. Uh, when you take it out of the fridge, it melts very quickly, or you can just kind of, you know, use it as a spread. All right, here's a one-to-one -one ratio. I went like 10 grams over with the water. Um, as you can see, not a proper canning process because you're really supposed to be submerging all of the rind in your sugar solution, but whatever. I develop recipes for a living, but honestly, I'm such a bad cook. I just go rogue all the time. I don't follow recipes. And then they come out like shit, so. Shall I make a label for your chicken skin chili oil? I can do it. Are you going to be eating anything else besides chicken skin for dinner? I'm not sure yet. Sorry, I keep blocking Fred. Do you think he's here for the smell or the company? Um, he's here for the kitchen because he was here all last night. Yeah, he likes the kitchen. Aaron found him on our counter today when we were both out. Like, I went out to go drop off compost and Aaron was out doing our laundry. And when he came back, Fred was on the counter. So, he's been plotting. He wants to be a chef too.
Yeah, it's true. It is warmer in the kitchen. Our room is very cold. I mean, honestly, this is Fred's kitchen cooking channel, so. I will say, last night, he didn't get the zoomies until like 5 a.m. and then suddenly at 5 45 a.m. I just woke to the sound of him meowing and scratching and running and I was just I don't even know anymore uh. how do you think our uh, chicken pasta residue basil stock will taste Aaron probably awesome What's the bait? What's that for? What? The basil. It was just rotting. Oh. So I just put it in. It was just like wilting. Basil stock, huh? It's interesting. Can't say that June's cooking isn't interesting. Is there a short version of the Fred origin story? Uh, yeah, he was a stray. And then we, we saw him, him on Instagram. We saw him on Instagram and adopted him from Aaron, an animal shelter. Aaron had been saying, hey, June, let's get a cat for a while now and we've always like daydreamed and joked about getting a cat but I think it's just reached that one year anniversary of quarantine times where Aaron was like no really let's get a cat and so I was looking through uh, Puppy Kitty NYC on Instagram and Fred was there and I, I just fell in love with the photo and the description said he's great for an elderly adopter because he's quiet because he's 8 to 10 ish. He's quiet for the most part except when he gets zoomies and then he's not quiet anymore and then I can't sleep. So I feel like I was a little misled but you know we still love him. Do you want a last bite of this? No that's all you. I'm eating June's old uh, orange cake muffins. Guys, tomorrow, just so you know, I don't think I'll be going live because I will be going to the Bronx to get my vaccine first shot. So by the time I get back, I'll probably be shwasted. But when we come back on Tuesday, I'm hoping I'll have enough energy on Tuesday. I want to make our redemption blood orange cake. I want to make a different version of the blood orange cake. So stay tuned for that. Do you have any other ideas of what to do with orange rinds besides candying them? I saw a cat in the shelter. She was 10 years old, had a missing leg. I begged my landlady to let me adopt her, but she said no. Oh man, that's a bummer. Our building is technically no pet too, but we sent our landlord an email saying, hey, we want to adopt this older cat. He never wrote back to us, but the next day the agency was like, your, your application has been approved, so. Ooh, citrus salt. Are you into citrus salt? I haven't had much of it, but I'm sure I'd like it. Like yuzu? Maybe some yuzu salt? Well, blood orange is what we have to work with here. Oh, I thought they were just asking in general. So the syrup is now clear. It's bubbling away. Um, as it goes, if you don't want syrup to crystallize, you should stop stirring it. I probably stirred it way too much, but you know what? It's fine. Whatever. We weren't really following the recipe at all anyway, so. Oh, we fuck it up. We fuck it up, guys. Can you make orange zest as a seasoning? Yeah, you just dry it. Mm -hmm. You can dry it. You can dry herbs and um, tomato skins and such uh, in the microwave. You put it on a um, paper plate, you microwave it at 10 second intervals and it'll get dried out enough that you can just like crush it with your fingers. Do you ever got, do you guys ever get takeouts? Aaron goes to Indo Java on Tuesdays and he gets like a weekly takeout. That's the closest I ever do to takeout except when I have a Jollibee craving, which is about once a month. I'll do Jollibee. <clears throat> wow, this is taking forever. I'm going to switch the two because our front burner is way more powerful. There you go. Yeah, nothing ever boils on the back burner. The big pot. Aaron, what are you going to eat? Feed me. I'm not very hungry, honestly. 
but chicken skin was very filling. It was very rich. Mm, Nan Gao sounds good, yeah. Should we switch to studio lights, June? Why? I don't know, this main light kind of sucks. Do you, have you tried this hummus? Look in it, I ate like half of it today. Ooh. It's really good. Can I have some? Yeah. You can turn on the studio light, but I have Fred's towel on there. What does this look like? Look, what does it look like? Um, that's okay, actually. It's grainier, obviously, because the phone's artifacting from we can pretend trying to compensate. We're shooting on film. Uh, sure. I'll try the studio light. I'll plug it in. Guys, I got some really gross carrots in a dollar bag. They're like all mold, <laughs> grimy, moldy on top. Or I guess I'm just gonna eat them with some hummus. You're cool if I eat the hummus. Yes, of course. Jollibee is a Filipino fast food chain known for their fried chicken. Absolutely delicious. So crunchy, so spicious, and their gravy is not to be missed. Literally, you cannot miss their gravy because you pass by three blocks away and you smell it. Ooh, somebody says Jollibee is overhyped. For real, for real? Lighting is super yellow. Yeah. The, Be careful, Aaron. In low light, the phone compensates to uh, shift white balance yellow quite often for some reason. I've noticed that happen a lot when I have the pixel. Stock is up to a boil. We're going to lower it. I'm going to cover it. This should be better, folks. You can also turn that to blue light instead of yellow. There's another switch. There's okay. one for strength of light and there's one for color temp. That's yellow, go the yeah. other way. Oh, okay, that looks fine. Yeah, this does look good. Aaron, please. Uh, the Jollibee here in Texas is fire. Have you all watched Wonder Woman 1984? That's a random comment. <laughs> How did that come up? And uh, you can answer the question, dude. Have you watched Wonder Woman 1984? Negative. No. Is that the new movie, or are you talking about a Wonder Woman film that was made in 1984? I don't know anything about this Marvel stuff. Uh, can people see you through your window while I'm live or filming? No. Uh, we're like six feet away from a another uh, apartment building, just basically a brick wall outside of our. I've never seen building. anybody look at me, but I also sometimes like just walk around the house naked. I'm sure somebody's seen me. You ever try flambe cooking? No, I don't really use alcohol in my cooking. Apparently Wonder Woman is DC. The last comic book movie June and I saw was The Joker, which was... Not good. It was whatever. Uh, I mean, Joaquin was amazing, but the story was yeah. like, what? Joaquin always do be great. What the hell was that? What the hell was that shit? The story was awful. Hi, Joy. Joy says hi every night. Okay, hi. She says hi to you and then me. She used hi, Joy. She used an exclamation point to say hi to you and a tilde to say hi to me. What's tilde? The squiggly line. Oh, cool. I don't know what, what the connotation is there, Joy. It's very Asian yeah. to do the squiggly <clears throat> line. Well, she should have used that with you then. Why? Because Asian to Asian? I don't know. Why? Because you, said, you just said it was an Asian thing. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do an Asian thing for another Asian. Very, very true. Um, noticing lots of fellow Canadians in the chat. Let June and Aaron know where you're tuning in from. Hi, I'm tuning in from my home in New York City. Um, I walk around naked too. Everyone is like, what if someone sees? 
their problem for looking LMAO. Yeah, I don't care. If, like, but you I, never really walk around naked. Because I like, I like the feeling of wearing underwear. I just like having, you know, control of my parts down there. I like feeling that they're, you know, not flying all over the place. So, uh, otherwise I wouldn't care. And I truly don't care if people see me naked. Um, Jeff is tuning in from Rochester, New York. I knew that. Rochester. TMI. Sorry, Susie. Uh, it's it's our stream. We'll give you a TMI. Susie, I like will it. let you know right now that if you're easily uh, offended, this is not a great live stream to follow. Yeah, it's technically June's stream, so I didn't want to say it was my stream, but as long as I'm here talking on the stream, I'll give you guys TMI if I feel like it. We're very offensive people. Yeah. Screw all you. That's what I say. Screw all of you. There's my offending. I don't want to screw anyone. No, don't. Uh, June is a Beijing native, and then a Tokyo native, and then... I'm not a Tokyo native. And then a Queens native. That's the places she lived. Aaron, tell us a fun fact, says Milkshake. My fun fact is, Milkshake, you're awesome. No, Aaron, tell us a naturally fun fact. I've never, I don't know facts. I've never learned a fact in my life. Tell us about your favorite U.S. president. FDR? Yes. He was great. Okay. How many times was he elected? Not enough. Well, he died. Four. Yeah. Did you know? I lost that point on trivia night. I didn't know he was. The I didn't know. The president elected to more than two terms. Yeah. But I didn't know he was elected four times. Uh, I feel like June and I must know some people in common. I think we're the same age, and I'm from Woodside. Too. Ooh. Who Esong are you? With a Esong two seven eight nine. Do you recognize that name? I don't know. What's your first name? Yeah, Do I know you? Esong, post your full details and post your full personal information. Give us your social security. Yes, my name is Ellen. We don't know any Ellens. Well, I don't know if I've never known. I don't know any Ellen songs. I do know an Ellen Abramovitz, but. Uh, yeah. I also know Ellen Fee. She was a teacher at my high school. She was great. Actually, you might have just posted your full personal information in chat, Ellen, because your name is Esong2789, which tells me also that maybe your birthday is Damn. July 2nd, 1989. <laughs> is that true? Don't actually say if that's true. Don't confirm. Don't confirm. Slink away. Delete everything. Have you ever had salted duck egg? Yes. That's Absolutely. One my, that's one of my favorite foods. We have it in the fridge. Do you want to see me eat it? June, did you grow up learning English or did you learn it later in life? I learned it later in life. Well, I learned it when I was a recent immigrant to New York. So when I was seven and a half, I started learning English. Are you on all chat or top chat? Can you go to all chat? That's how we miss out on so many questions. Ooh, are there are the trolls in in all chat? No, because the mod, our lovely moths take care of them. Okay. But yeah, I've been noticing that we're on top chat and we miss a lot of questions. Um, favorite Asian fruit, I guess whatever you want. Oh. Is Asian fruit. The first thing that came to mind was durian, but I've never had good durian, but I've always wanted to. So my favorite yeah. dream Asian fruit is durian. Why, Niman? Says Astrum Drago. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aaron, can you hand me the hummus, please? I would like some hummus, please. You want some hummus? Yes, please. Yeah, I also love durian. I really, really want to get some nice, fresh, raw durian in Thailand or whatever, or wherever they have it. I've had freeze-dried durian. That's one of my absolute favorite snacks from the Asian grocery stores. So I've stopped purchasing hummus because it comes in plastic and what's the point if I can make my own hummus, but Ithaca gave me some coupons because PR, working in food media, gets you free shit. And uh, I'm gonna taste it. 
Uh, Aaron got Kawamata last time, which I wasn't a fan of. It was just like too olivey it was to the point where kind of sour. Yeah, and I couldn't really taste the hummus. Um, but lemon dill hummus. Let's see. Have you ever had lemon dill before? Not in the hummus, I don't think. But I like this a lot more than I expected. I was worried the dill would be too strong, but it's not. I love dill. Mmm. Don't give durian to Fred. He'll be so sick. I okay. don't think we were planning on it. Also, he'd probably take one sniff of durian and, and piece the hell out. I dig it. Lemon dill. Dill is possibly my favorite green herb of all time. Wow. Bold statements. Can I have some carrot? Mm hmm. Yeah, I do like this I think of stuff. That's all the free PR you'll get from us though for sending us coupons. As I was saying it on the live stream once. That's Hope not that's bad. good enough. Yeah. I haven't had vegetables regularly for too long. My body is like, I hate you. Ooh, Claire. Cosmic apples. Jeff can't see Fred well in this lighting. What if I just tilt the tilt it towards light yeah. fully on you? Yeah. Mm. Great. Love it. Just a spotlight on Fred. I got some huge cosmic crisps today, guys. 99 cents at my food bazaar. They're really disgusting feeling. They feel like waxy, waxy outsides. They're like sticking to my fingers, but they're huge. Eric, what's your favorite herb? Uh, what what are what's the definition of an herb? Thyme, sage, whatever. I don't know. I guess I like. I guess I like uh, rosemary. Is that what they? What's the thing where the, like the fancy restaurant chefs cook with butter and steak in the pan? Sure, rosemary. Yeah, I guess I like that. That's fine. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about herbs. I like herbs, but you know, my heart's all about chili. All right, I don't know how long it's been, guys, but uh, our syrup is starting to turn glossy. I'll show you when we get closer to the finished product. But you basically want your peels to look completely translucent. You want them to feel very tender, and you want your syrup to be very glazy and thick. How many more coupons do we have? For I've got none. You, you're only giving two. Really? Yes. I thought they gave us like four. Nope. Unless she got two. Um, I tried Balut. I did not like it. I would not eat it again. I don't really get it. What's the point? It's like, you know, you're eating feathers and shit and bones. Who would want to do that? What is Tang Hulu? Is it Tang Hulu? Is it that Hawthorne thing? Candy eat on a stick? Let me Google it. My favorite native Beijing food. Jesus Christ. My favorite native Beijing food is Lu Dao Gorm. It's this too. Yeah, just candy to Hawthorne on a stick. I've had Tom Hulu once. I kept begging my mom to get me it, and she finally did, and I took one bite and I hated it. Tell I was also six. Amy, you know bone chips are completely different than blue. With blue, you're eating like something that has the bones and the feathers and the skin and like the brains and shit, like all together. And the one I had didn't even taste good. It like wasn't even seasoned that well. It was just like, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. How do you season Baloo? I think it was just like cooked like a tea egg sort of, like it's soy sauce. I think you guys ate it wrong. Okay. I think you bought it from the lady and you didn't do anything to that. Well, nobody told us. We were just walking down the street and it was there. And... That'd be like cracking an egg open and just slurping it. I don't know. How do you eat Baloo usually? Yeah, we've seen fresh durian in the Chinese markets. They're at like all of them, but we don't really buy them because we assume it's not going to be as good as you would get in like, first of all, it's way more expensive than you would actually get in like Southeast Asia. Eric, do you want to share a Cosmic Crisp? It's ginormous. Sure. And it's not going to be as good quality. Ginormous. You know, it's, it's imported across the seven seas. So, June and I are waiting to buy a real good fresh durian when we're actually there in durian land. Durian land. We thought Vietnam would be durian land, but we like didn't see any when we went. Maybe it wasn't during the season. Sweet dreams are made of these. Can you do a travel food vlog? Yeah, when well, we can start traveling again, I guess. Are you actually going to bring the GH5 11 out? I don't know. Okay. Curry recommendations? Uh, Japanese curry is my favorite form of curry. If you just want to be lazy about it like I do, you can just buy a golden curry or any of the brands of Japanese curry blocks that they have in Asian or Japanese supermarkets. Or there's millions of recipes out there for, you know, uh, making Japanese curry. But uh, yeah, it's one of the most, one of my favorite restaurants in the world, Jude's too, is Coco Curry. Oh, see, you're supposed to boil Baloo and then eat it with seasoning. Well, I think that that's what it was. It was already pre-cooked. They didn't just hand me a raw Baloo. It was yeah. cooked for it. Yeah, but they didn't season it. You didn't season it. My BF just agreed with me, with you. About what? What did I get agreed with? I want to know all the ways in which I'm correct. Yeah, I love, I sh not to say that I don't like other curries, I love curry in general. Malaysian curries, Indian curries, every possible form of curry. It's just Japanese curry is the closest to my heart. It's just, some something about that flavor profile is like so, like, soul warming. What did you spray on the apple, Jude? Says many people, and by many people. Um, it's supposed to get rid of some of your produce residue like the wax but uh it's not working on this one this one is super waxy i hate it it's disgusting i also got this off of the free table i would never buy shit like this just so you know do you want to eat this with the skin on or should i peel it if it's not extremely waxy i'll take the skin on Tofu brain says hot water to remove the wax. Thank you. I don't want to cook my apple though. Well, it is kind of sticky. I love all Sichuan peppers. I love um, the green and the brown and the red. I think June likes the green the most. That's what our orange peels look like. Bubbling away. Hi, Lily. Oh, this apple tastes great. You like it? Yeah. I love that flavor. It's like, um, a autumn seasonal flavor. It tastes like autumn spice, if that's a thing. My favorite type of apple is whatever I can get fresh from a farmer's market in apple season. 
We need apple country. Have more, Aaron. Have as much as you'd like. Cosmic crisp, Lily. Can you recap uh, what you got on the scope? We're canning blood oranges, the peels. We're making some stock out of chicken bone in a pot that used to hold Aaron's cocoa curry pasta. It has basil that was wilting inside and it has some leftover chicken fat. And there's one of my hairs. Gross. Oh, I'd that to the stock and live flavor. And we're eating apples. Cosmic crisp. I don't know if I've ever had Enterprise. Have you ever had Enterprise apple? Enterprise? No. Never heard of that. Linda says you are so beautiful. Thanks, Linda. Some days they don't feel like that, but I appreciate it. I don't go to farmer's markets weekly. Like, this week I didn't go. It was just too busy. I was very stressed, and we were bathing Fred, and I ran out to compost, and didn't make it to the farmer's market. I noticed there's three people in the room, Linda, and you only called one of them beautiful. What's wrong with me and Fred? Yeah, what's wrong with me and Fred? You got a problem with me and Fred? Tell, tell Fred he's not beautiful right now. Say that to his face. What's wrong, Fred? Do you feel bad because you smell like rotten eggs? You smell like poopies. <laughs> Sleepy cat. I've seen two different misspellings of my name in chat tonight. Now you guys know where I got my instant name from. What did Jeff type in Chinese? Something he doesn't understand because he used Google Translate. Um, oh, Fred, Fred is very was beautiful. Also very beautiful, yes. Fred Ye Hen Piao Liang. Are you mad that I'm cooking here? Are you? I spell my name A A A A A A A R R R R N. Time to look at my orange peels. Guys, do you see how um, the liquid is like basically candied now? I have to turn it off. This is because I didn't do what I was supposed to do, which was immerse it. And now it's basically candying in the pot. So I don't have any leftover syrup the way I should because leftover syrup, you see it pooling, is a very delicious addition to cocktails and all of that. You can brush it on top Ooh, of your pound cake. That's what we're doing tonight. What? Do you have leftover syrup? Yeah. Whiskey. All right. Whiskey and bitters. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's what we're doing. Cocktail time. How is Fred so floofy? Because he's a cat. He's not. He's one of those cats that has fur. What are the ones that don't have fur called? I forgot. The Rexes? The those. Kings? Yeah. How many meals do you eat a day? 
Jeez, do we even think in terms of meals? Let's see. <laughs> I ate a quarter jar of peanut butter with three bananas, and then I got really stressed out, and I came back and I ate a quarter block of a pound of cheese, and then I went back into my peanut butter jar and I started eating more, and I think I ate maybe another four tablespoons with two more bananas, and then I was like, wow, I'm a sad fuck. Let me go outside and do some grocery shopping for my work. And then I came back, and then I decided I'm going to shower, I'm going to stream, I'm going to do my best to stop feeling bad about myself. That's my day. So how many meals was that? Who knows? We don't think in terms of meals. And Lee, of course you can message June on Insta. I can't promise she'll reply, but you can definitely message her. Two bunches of bananas for a dollar each and I think each bunch had like at least eight bananas on there and I only have two bananas left so you you do the math I hope you don't mind hanging out in my pocket as I clean hotel bedrooms are mm. you saying you're just listening to us on audio that's, that's fun kind of, that's cool well hotel what city yeah, more personal information. We already got somebody's whole social security number and everything tonight. What's the best thing you ever found cleaning a hotel room? Yeah, say hi to me, Christina. Was it the world's largest pile of cum? Ew, Aaron, <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, that's shit you find in hotel rooms. I'm a snake, Claire. Bananas and chicken? I don't know. Get back to me, Lee, after you experiment. Never had Puerto Rican food. Do you want more apple? No, thanks. Is he content? I always feel like he looks depressed and angry. Well, Happy Meal, this is actually my cell phone, so what Fred sees is a reflection of what you're seeing, because I'm using my front-facing camera. Black bean pasta. No, I have it. But I've had pea pasta, and I liked it. Ooh. All right, well, I'm glad Fred looks content. Fred, they say you look content. I hope you are content. I don't know how to read cat language. Okay, well, he turned away from me, so I don't know. Slow blink is love and trusts you. Oh. Why are you so cute? At the last hotel I worked at, housekeeping, uh, kept finding drugs in nearly every room. Why were people leaving their drugs out so haphazardly? Aren't drugs expensive? It's, come on, people, take take your drugs with you. Fred, should we get you a comfier chair, or do you just like doing this thing where you're, like, slowly falling off the edge of the chair? You smell like rotten eggs. I do do the slow blink, but I don't think I'm doing it right. He always runs away from me. Yes, we've been to Sugao Shader. Absolutely. We love it. All right, Aaron, make your drink. Oops. Do you want an ice cube to chill the syrup down or no? Uh, yeah. The only whiskey I currently have in the house, I've seen it before, the Paris uh, Irish whiskey.
the juice is like... You pour the uh, syrup in first, actually. Yes. The juice is like a um, light cranberry champagne color. Ram, this is going to be random crap of June's uh, orange syrup that she made tonight, plus my Irish single malt, and uh, probably some bitters. I don't think I'm gonna go with the smoked chili bitters. I'm gonna go with the Angostura, or however the hell you pronounce that. One more spoon. Because I don't think smoked chili bitters are the most complimentary flavor profile for uh, orange syrup. And I'll do the shake of bitters next. Or the old shake of bitters. It looks like a, a rose cocktail right now. You should do some rose water in here instead of bitters. Both. Dude, that's a lot of bitters. I have no idea how much bitters to use. Uh, two drops. Well, that was more. That was like eight. Okay. Smells good though. Why don't you take a drink now? <laughs> Without it. That's just syrup and bitters. Oh, <laughs> the syrup is luxurious. All right, I will. I will take. Here's rose water. Look at this luxury, guys. Oh, that's good. Mmm, that is good. That is so good. That okay. is so delicious. So good. Oh my god. Oh, that is wildly good. The bitters are brilliant in that. Mm -hmm. Makes it so sophisticated. My and friends, I'm sure this cocktail has been done a million times before and I'm just not aware of it. Bitters and orange syrup. That's a combo. Now I'm going in the splash of the rose water. Tiny, tiny. Tiny splash, I know. It is very potent. Uh, okay. Can I taste it again? Yes, with the rose. This is my meditative sound tonight, guys. Oh. Oh my god, that smells like such a pretty lady. It smells like you, according to Linda. And me, June. You are a pretty Ooh. lady. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. She's that girl that you have a crush on. The AT&T girl? The rose water just made it taste younger. The bitters made it taste like a sophisticated woman. But this is like... A girl in the spring in Central Park in a very pretty yeah. dress. This is, if you poured this over, or if you mix this with seltzer water, that would be the most refreshing thing in the world you could possibly drink. Like, seriously. All right, now to ruin it with whiskey, but it is a cocktail. I won't be tasting that. Nope. Can I dip my I apple in though. it? I will, though. Can I dip my apple in Cheers. it? Cheers. The color is still so beautiful, guys. I know our lighting is shit, but, like, pretty accurate. I'm going to dip my apple in there. Oh, yeah. Not my thing. Tastes like rum now, though. Yeah. It sweetened it up. Here we go. What do we call this? Oh, now I know what has to go on top. A basil leaf. We don't have any. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just stock now. How about mint? We have catnip. You want catnip? Yeah, that's fine. I'll drink it as is. Just imagine a green leaf on top. That would complete it. Then it would be $18 here from any New York City cocktail bar. <laughs> yeah, everybody's favorite cocktail topping of broccoli. Yeah, this is delicious. I honestly love this cocktail. Fred is awake. Hi, Fred. 
Sorry, it's not a Moscow Mule, Jeff. Yeah, it'd be eighteen dollars with half the whiskey, and it would be like a fucking uh, Johnny, whatever bad whiskey is. I don't know. Instead of a single malt. You want to try a peel? Uh, sure. It's still warm, so it's not gummy yet. But once it, it cools, oh, it'll is set. It cool enough to touch. Mm -hmm. Mmm. That's awesome. That's going straight in my cocktail. There. Now we got a cocktail topping. Can you put the carrot for that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really translucent. They're almost like jellied. And once they cool, they'll be a little bit gummier. Right now, they're still kind of just soft and cooked. But once they harden, the syrup will kind of evaporate and dry off and solidify. So what I need to do right now is to lay them out on a sheet tray. I'm very sorry about that, everybody. That noise must have been bad. Uh, watching a June stream is a... Uh, adventure. It's an adventure. Yeah. It's not for people with PTSD. <laughs> if, if, you were in the, if you were in Iraq, you would not enjoy this. Too many surprises. Yeah, I think the uh, I think YouTube has some sort of correcting the levels for crazy loud sounds like that. Really? Somebody said the sound was not loud. Automatically? Well, also the I think the microphone like is isn't sensitive to like sudden crashes like that. What is Eggs Royale? That's somebody's favorite breakfast food, but I don't know what it is. Is it like Eggs Benedict? Or is Benedict... Was Benedict... What was that named after? Was that named after Benedict Arnold? There's so many things I don't know. What is Eggs Royale? What is Eggs Benedict named after? Why do most chefs have such brown slash rusty sheet trays? Because they get used! Yeah, sheet trays only stay shiny for the first five uses. If your sheet tray is shiny and perfectly brand new, use it more. Mmm, tender, sweet. That's great. That's great. Rosie has asked about 10 times if you've ever tried Dominican food. I don't know if I have, Rosie. Can I just be honest? I'm not a fan of Latin American food in general. Damn, you're about to get canceled. I've only been to restaurants, like aside from Mexican food, I guess, all of the Latin American restaurants I've been to tend to feature very grilled, straightforward slabs of meat. And I'm just not a meat person. So I haven't found any sides that really intrigue me and like, pull me in, but I love beans and I love rice. And so beans and rice, no matter what country they're from, I love. Whoa, all the generalities there. Good point, Pants and Goose. June was overgeneralizing and I do think we should cancel her. All right, you can cancel me, but also can you tell me where to find good Latin American food? in New York City. Arepas, I love arepas. I do like arepas, yes. And by Latin American, I mean, obviously Mexico is part of that. Yes. And I love, I can't speak to June, but I love it. Mexican is so distinct, I think, from the other uh, Central and South American cuisines. And it's just like wildly delicious. Like Mexican is definitely in my top five cuisines in the world. 
I have to be honest, when it comes to Mexican food, I'm such like a American. My favorite, my favorite Mexican food is probably a burrito because I don't love corn tortillas and so tacos never did it for me, but I love beans and rice and flour tortillas, so burritos always did it for me, but yeah, I'm pretty like, I have pretty like standardized American tastes when it comes to Mexican food. That restaurant Mama Juana is very close to us in Queens, and we've never went there. Where? Somebody said, June cannot survive Mama Juana. What is it? Is it spicy? I have no idea. It's on like Queens Boulevard. You've seen Northern, it? Yeah, it's on Northern Boulevard. I passed, we passed by it a million times. Northern or Roosevelt? It's not Roosevelt. It's either, it's Northern Boulevard, yeah. Okay. That's the one. Oh, Mama Juana! The yeah, one that I looks like that marijuana. Times. Yeah, I always thought their sign looked so much like the word marijuana. Like, are they intentionally going for that? Like, they wrote uh, the M so that it looks like an R or whatever. Is it just marijuana, the restaurant? What's their deal? I don't even know what kind of food they serve. Um, some people joining late. So to recap, June uh, candied some orange peels and made a syrup out of it that I then used to make a really awesome cocktail. And earlier in the stream, we made chicken skin that we then use the oil of to make chili oil. And uh, we ate the chicken skin, which was awesome. And then we also have this random thing on the stove, which is basil boiling in like- Chicken bone stock. Chicken bone stock, basically. There you go. That's what it is. It is your uh, Aaron recap of the night. Thanks, Aaron. There's a restaurant named after the drink Mama Juana. I don't know this drink. There's so much I don't know. I'm gonna Google what Mama Juana drink is. I'm just gonna keep eating these candies. Ooh, that one was citrusy. What the heck is the Dominican drink Mama Juana? Um, it's a, a concoction made by combining rum, red wine, and honey and allowing the mixture to soak with tree bark and herbs. The result is an elixir that some say tastes similar to Port or Amaro. Uh, it provides, and so many, and Manawana promises those who consume it all sorts of sexual, incredible benefits, including sexual potency. Ooh. Which has given the drink a nickname of Liquid Viagra. Liquid Viagra. I support that. It's much better than like- Viagra eating, Viagra? Or eating like rhino horn or something. Is that a Chinese drink. thing? I don't know. I don't know who does it. I just know some people do. Um, but yeah, get your get your boner pills from uh, a drink. A drink, not endangered species, please. Yum, guys. Sugar. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I do love fried sweet plantains. Yes, that's one of the. That's definitely one of the Dominican foods that I do enjoy. Are arepas Dominican? I know they're Salvadoran, I believe. And Venezuelan. Yeah. I don't know if they're Dominican too, but if so, I love them too. June loves Korean side dishes. Yes, banchan! Banchan. That is one of our favorite. Yum, 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 yum. We love the cuisine of banchan. We, yeah, exactly. Go to a Korean restaurant just for the side, says Cookie, please. Um, yeah, I would do that too. There used to be a restaurant in K-Town on 32nd Street in Manhattan called the New Wangzhou, and they used to do a breakfast menu for like, in the early days it was $7.95 plus tax, and now I think it's like either non-existent because of COVID or $10.95. Whatever it was, it was amazing. It was like a breakfast just like a full-on breakfast meal with a steamed egg, a bowl of rice, your main dish that you choose from like a dozen options. So delicious all of them. And then they always come with like six different small plates of banchan. I just, Aaron and I used to go there almost every other week just to eat one of those and share it between us. And we had it once upon a time, a resolution to try everything on that menu. I think we only made it like four times, but it was amazing. I love banchan, so good. 
except LA has the best place to the banchan in the country. They'll give you like 12 or 18 banchans there. Ta-da! I'm gonna put this in my off oven and it'll just dry until I either forget about it and it molds or until it's fully dried and then I remember it and then I put it away in a container and then I store it in the freezer or the fridge. Yeah, maybe June should do a week of cooking and learning about Latin American cuisines. I agree, Pantaline Goose. June needs to not be so disdainful. Did you not cancel me yet? You are canceled, yeah. I am? I reported you to YouTube. They're taking you down now. Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, it. She says, delicious, not enough of my June and Aaron Phil. You guys are awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Are you ready for the steam that's about to hit my face? Oh, God. That was really hot. It's almost like it's boiling steam. Definitely seared my mustache off. Okay, that's quite flavorful, guys. There's a top layer of fat floating. The basil is now a dark, mustardy, forest green, and the bones are probably very, 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 very flavorless. But the only way to know is to take the taste. Whaley, did you see June's peanut butter video? Because that's recent. Maybe not, because people only watch her budget eats. Watch her other stuff, too. You don't have to watch my other stuff. I'm telling... June's telling you you don't have to, but I'm saying you do. You don't have to watch anything that I make, guys. I'm saying you do. Do you think Fred would want some chicken? Do you think the minimal amount of spices in here will kill him? How much? What was in there? Um... Probably just salt. I, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's he, he got like bonus, plenty of bonus treats. All right, I'll eat the it. chicken then. Yeah, Peruvian food is good. I think that would be my second favorite of the Latin American foods after Mexican. I worked with some people who were huge Peruvian food aficionados. And we went to Sue, we went to Pio Pio, I think is the name of the restaurant in New York. It was very good. Needs salt and more time. Maybe some MSG. Oh yeah, Peruvian ceviche. Uh, we saw some Mark Wiens videos where he went and had the Peruvian ceviche, and it looks uh, just Maybe incredible. some fish sauce. That's, that's among my ultimate food bucket list items is uh, great Peruvian ceviche. Black pepper. Fred's not a big leper. We haven't seen any bleps yet. Maybe June has. I haven't. I haven't. He doesn't have teeth, guys, so like... Does that make a difference for blepping? I feel like if you don't have teeth, you're more likely to have bleps, but yeah. I haven't seen much blepping. Yeah, I do love Mexican uh, seafood, too. There's a uh, guy, I'm not going to be able to remember the name of this place. Here in Queens, very close to us is my favorite Mexican seafood I've ever had, mainly because I've, I've never had seafood in Mexico, so I'm sure it's better there. La Esquina del Camarón. Oh, yes. So Mexicano. Good. So good. Yeah. So good. It's the best shrimp cocktails. I think they have pulpo too. It is, everybody I've taken there has loved it. Mm -hmm. It's a hidden gem. It's in like a, the back smoke of a convenience shop. store. Yeah. A smoke shop. A smoke shop slash convenience store on Roosevelt Avenue. 
and it is uh, just incredible. Guys, I have some syrup in the pot from our blood orange candy process. I'm just going to sliver an apple in there. Look at that gorgeous syrup. I just can't let that go to waste. Do you want more syrup in your drink? Do you want this bite? Um, I'll take the bite, yes. I got it. Cheers. Apple with rose syrup. This is just blood orange. Yeah, I'm in blood orange. <clears throat> this will make a great pie filling, this syrup. Mm-hmm. It would make a great anything. I've loved it so far. In every in every form. This is a different tripod, Kelly. June put a t together an old one that she found in the house. Bye, travels with blind cane. Well, that's the bulk of our cooking content for you all today. We could just uh, point the camera towards Fred for the next few hours, if you want. Permanent Fred cam. TK, we made some chicken stock. Some blood orange syrup, a cocktail with the blood orange syrup, and some chicken skin. And chili oil with the chicken fat. How's that bath working out, buddy? Fred isn't sick. He's just... He could be sick. He could be sick, but we have no reason to believe he's sick. He always sniffles. He's when just... he breathes, he's got like... Yeah, he's kind of sleepy. On. He also had a rough day because we had to give him a, a lime sulfur bath. But he looks like this a lot. Uh, he's just kind of bored. Sniffly. Do you think you'll kill me in my sleep one day? I hope so. Hmm. June, do you have any tips for making rice noodles? Like from scratch? Emily, do you mean from scratch or like cooking with rice noodles? If you ever want, uh, at like specific restaurant recommendations, just contact me on Insta and I will be more than happy to reply. I have places all over the world, but especially New York, I can recommend places. Jackson Galaxy is awesome. Instagram story of all the restaurants I'd recommend, it would be, I would spend the rest of my life doing that. I have a lot of recommendations. Would you ever do a mukbang and sit and chat with us? Isn't Samantha, that what this is? Yeah, Samantha, what do we do every night? <laughs> what is this, basically? Is it the June is needing enough food on a stream? Do you want a mukbang where she just eats like 10,000 calories? Because she can do that in peanut butter form if you want if you want her to live stream her peanut butter sessions. Yeah, rice noodles from scratch. Have you ever done that, June? Yeah. Nope. Sorry, Emily. Aaron, what's the best restaurant in Canada? Tim Hortons. I'm just kidding. I, I would have... I went to some places in Vancouver that I really liked, but I would have to uh, look look at my map specifically to figure it out. You can message me though to ask.
do you see? Is there a ghost? What you looking at? Did you have an okay day today, bud? Uh, he smells like egg because it's a sulfur lime dip. So that's what it smells like. Very sulfuric. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the stock. I'll probably let it go for another hour to get more flavorful. And I think this is where we're going to end it tonight, guys. Not much going on. Just flavor. June, would you ever do a cook-along stream? And I think what he means by that, or she, uh, or they, is... Um, that you would, I guess, say the recipe ahead of time and people can cook with you, like the full ingredients and stuff. What do you think about that? What do you guys want to cook along to, though? Yeah. I you... feel like it's not really worth it because some people might want sweet, some people might want savory, some people might want something sh like really fast, some people want like elaborate recipes, and it's really hard to coordinate that. Um, so, ooh. I will say now, I will be, um, when is it? Okay. The evening of April 14th, which I think is a Wednesday, at 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., I will be doing a workshop, cooking workshop of sorts with Ground Cycle. They are raising funds um, for a organization that is delivering meals to the elderly in Chinatown in New York City right now. So I will be there. I think two other chefs will be there. Um, and we're just gonna cook some things and we're gonna have a chat and I believe the tickets are on sale now. Stay tuned. I'll probably make a social media post about it on my Instagram soon if you guys wanna donate some funds, cook along, chat along. Um, so. Yes, I will be doing those things. <sighs> yeah, I mean, posting a general theme and you guys cooking along, I feel like it's kind of what I do with these, but because of my work and my daily schedules, uh, I just don't really plan ahead. Um, so two hours before I can stream, I just look at what needs to go today and I'll snapshot it and I'll make a thumbnail and I'll slap on the live and schedule it. So that's how I've been doing it. Maybe in the future, when I'm less busy, I can coordinate some things more in advance so that people can cook along, but right now it's just slapdash, improv. We got moldy basil. <laughs> we got orange rinds. It's Let's go. It's virtual, Wendy. Yeah, everything's still virtual because COVID is still a thing and we have new variants popping up even though everybody's getting vaccinated, so on and so forth. I, I do want a snack though, Aaron. What can I eat? Maybe I'll go eat some dry oatmeal and fart up a storm tonight. Rummage through the compost bin. What? Rummage through the compost bin. No. Okay. I'm going to eat oatmeal and fart instead. Same thing. Bye guys, thanks for coming to my live and coming into my life and thanks for saying hi to Fred and thanks for saying hi to Aaron and thanks to you all for being here for each other. I hope you have a great week ahead. I won't see you tomorrow, but maybe the day after. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Do it. Thanks mom.